It's finally happened and you won't believe it. What's shaking guys, it's Feldy bringing you another Clash of Clans video and today we are in our Town Hall 11. I have got so much to upgrade in here, but you guys, well, let's see, I voted big day here in the United States. Uh, well, uh, let's see, what do you think has happened? Comment below right now, real quick, before we get into the video, smash that bell button, subscribe, like the video, Thanks for all your support here at the channel. Hey, okay. Town Hall 11, I've got the gold pass. We are working hard on that guy. And I am maxed out on my dark elixir, but it's clan war league time. So I can't even upgrade my heroes while well, I can't either for another nine hours anyway. But I do have a book of everything, which I will probably use to upgrade a hero and actually probably upgrade my queen. Look at that nice little level 44 one more and you can see the extra amount of damage that she's gonna do plus you get that extra damage increase health increase uh, ability time and the extra archer which comes into play big time in town hall 11 for sure okay what has happened you guys have had enough time to comment below what has happened we are in a 30 versus 30 war and for the first time ever i don't care if we win or lose and that is the craziest feeling i've ever had in my life i don't understand what it is that uh, made me trigger well i kind of do so let's go ahead and watch this simple man's replay on a town hall 13. here's the deal we decided as a clan that uh, 15 versus 15s were fun, but a lot of people were excluded from the war, and then they would only get the 20% medals. Well, our farm clan is meant to get people boosted up and actually have better uh, trophies, better upgrades, all that good stuff. So we're simply just trying to get people medals. We aren't really trying to compete at the end game of Clash of Clans. So, what does that really mean? It means that, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter if we are in a 15 versus 15 or 30 versus 30. We want the most amount of our players to get Clan War League medals. We want them to get that 8 medal count, which means if you're in for 4 days and you get 2 stars on each base, you have a really good chance to get that 100% medal count. Now, we know that if you're in four days and you two star, obviously you're going to do that. But not everybody has the ability to two star because you'll see some mismatches going on here. And I'm just going to show you a few. Um, I will tell you that this base was obviously a rush Town Hall 13, but uh, nonetheless, it's a Town Hall 13 and simple man was able to absolutely destroy that now i will want to show you guys kind of the matchups of that we're kind of running into here this is only day one but this is probably what it's going to be from here on out you've got a couple uh really rushed town hall 13s but obviously their um heroes are halfway decent and their troops are max upgraded which means that they're going to use the loons and e-drags and they're just gonna be able to wipe things out. Uh, their eagle is close to getting maxed. Uh, they do have one scatter shot in the entire play base. So they have some defenses that really can hurt you, but then going up against say a Town Hall 11 um, or Town Hall 12, those defenses are really gonna be painful. Um, so, uh, my base was able to hold off a three star for the Town Hall 11, and that was actually a Town Hall 10 that attacked me. So uh, I felt really confident there. But then my Tyler account got three starred. It's a Town Hall 10, and it was attacked by a Town Hall 11. Um, even though, you know, like, look, these guys are Town Hall 11s going up against a Town Hall 10. Any time of the week, a Town Hall 11 should obliterate a Town Hall 10. 
So you just gotta really be cautious there. Now this guy is a Town Hall 11 and he obviously has decent upgrades for Town Hall 11, but clearly he's going to be having the army comp that can just truck over Town Hall 10s. So really we don't care. We don't care if we win or lose in Clan War League in our farm clan and we want to just get everybody in there to try to get two stars now if you can't get two stars that's fine you know we have a couple here that have one stars this one was really tough um there was another one that was uh, pretty brutal where uh, uh the, the base was i want to say was it this one or was it the other one yeah it was this one so this guy um has the single target infernos in the middle you would really really need to bring um you know earthquakes and then wall or like you know um an ice golem inside your clan castle to try to get that to freeze and then you really just need like witches and uh, um healers because that's the only way you really would accomplish a three star or close to it, the two star on this one because witch slap is going to be the thing that uh, helps with those single target infernos going to spawn a whole bunch of skeletons um, but let's go ahead and watch death to use uh, attack he did try to do the witch slap um, the only problem is he did not bring in the earthquakes so the time spent to actually get into the base was a little too much he did have a jump but that still wasn't effective enough because you need to open up that whole area and then funnel your troops in i would have came in right at this area with an earthquake and then um you would have been able to actually get the two star seal that two star but it was still a great attempt by death to you and um you live and learn right and so every moment is a teachable moment so these are definitely the kind of attacks that you want to make sure that you take note of in your clan and try to help people and guide them for that kind of two-star strategy to at least give them the chance to get that two-star. Okay, so I am now on the grind at Town Hall 11. I have really dedicated this month to get my Town Hall 11 upgraded. Now, uh, with the gold pass, it's definitely gonna help. I have a couple more things here to help get my rewards up, to try to get some extra uh, reward perks early on. And then over here in the builder base i've been really kind of focused i'm gonna try to get this uh lava launcher right after the seven hour mark there for my um builder to be free i've got this guy working up to level nine i'm gonna get that lava launcher down then i'm gonna get all my collectors up then i've got this little level one double cannon and i'm gonna focus on him don't forget in your builder base this tree stump and the trunk never spawn back at least they haven't in any of my other bases that i removed them so if you haven't touched those you are winning for your uh obstacles there um otherwise that does it for today's video guys uh, i'm just gonna try to show you a little up uh, base kind of like play here i'm gonna be doing some wizard towers over here and then I've got a ton of Archer Towers. Um, I've pretty much tried maxing out all my bombs to the point that they can. I've tried to get all my air bombs upgraded. I can uh, upgrade like I think one or two more of them. But uh, yeah, I've got an Expo um, over here that I gotta get. And then you guys can clearly see I need my hidden Teslas to go up one more level at Town Hall 11. So lots to do like i said i'm really dedicating this month to upgrading my town hall 11. i hope that you guys commented below what you thought was going to be the big news of what i finally got my conclusion that clan war league doesn't really matter in our farm we just want everybody to upgrade and i hope that you are having a successful upgrade season here uh we will be getting christmas themed everything coming soon so stay tuned for that that's gonna be really exciting for uh for i hope a skin in your base and 
that means the most wonderful time of all, Santa spell, where we go get to bless everybody with lots of presents. I will have a blitz for that. I can't wait to share with you guys a whole bunch of Christmas blitzes with the presents. Uh, so that does mean get your Christmas trees in order because I will be hunting for you and blessing your Christmas trees with presents. All right, that does it for today's video, guys. I hope that you have a great one. Be safe out there. Till next time, Veldy, peace. <laughs>